Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And today is Monday, uh, Monday the 20th, which means we are getting wonderfully close to the celebration of Christmas. That's coming up right around the corner at the end of this week. Um, and so one of the things that's happening now is that we are switched over uh, for the lesson for evening prayer to St. Luke's Gospel, the beginning of St. Luke's Gospel. And what's great about that is that that first and second chapter of St. Luke's Gospel are full of these wonderful stories, kind of the precursor stories to Jesus' ministry by identifying both the way in which John the Baptist was conceived uh, and then uh, the uh, way in which Jesus was conceived. Uh, so we hear about Elizabeth and Mary and Zacharias and Joseph. Uh, and then, of course, we hear about the Mary and Elizabeth coming together and meeting each other, what we know as the Feast of the Visitation. Uh, and so we have all of this is kind of a precursor to, of course, the Christmas story that is coming up uh, that we will be celebrating on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. So this is kind of helping us this week to fill in the background information. So Luke chapter 1, beginning at verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abiah, and his wife was the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing at the right hand of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering unto him said, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which thou sh shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them, for they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, and he beckoned to them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. Okay, of course, we know that that child will be John the Baptist. Um, so it's interesting that it says that even from his mother's womb, he'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. We, of course, we know that all human life is sacred from its conception till its uh, natural death. So, uh, And here we know that John the Baptist is filled with the Holy Spirit, even in his mother's womb. And we'll know that when he rejoices when Jesus comes in in the womb of Mary uh, in order to uh, announce his coming as well. So it's basically the ministry of John the Baptist is announcing the coming of Jesus. Um, and of course, I think John, I think Zacharias has a perfectly human uh, uh, reaction that is he doubts the angel. How can this be? I'm an old man, my wife's way past childbearing years. Um, how in the world could this possibly happen? And, and the good news, of course, is we know that with God, these things are certainly possible. Okay, so uh, we do have Holy Communion today, Monday at 12.15, and evening prayer at 5 o'clock. And I do hope that you will join us for worship uh, to receive the Blessed Sacrament or watch us online. And I hope that you have a day that is full of blessings.